All right, what's going on guys? Our first trip of the year and we've landed in Mont Laurier. Super excited. We're here actually at the Comfort Inn. I uh, got the crew with me. We're going to be doing some riding uh, around the Mont Laurier area for the next couple of days. Definitely going to be a segment you won't want to miss, so stay tuned and we'll see you on the trail shortly. All right, so I got the whole crew here. We're just uh, leaving Mont Laurier. Basically, uh, going to be hopping on the 63 trail. Welcome to the Woodrunner Trail System. That's back into uh, Comfort in Mont Laurier, and we're going to be heading up to uh, Font Brun. We're going to also be checking out Nottawisi, Rabaska Lodge, and Mikos is actually where we're staying tonight. So everything's looking good. Boys are all having a good time. And uh, yeah, excited to uh, to get this trip started. So yeah, this is the whole Woodrunner trail system that I was talking about a little bit earlier that's basically been created by all these partnerships uh, with the outfitters to establish the snowmobile trail system up here. So it's, uh, it's a really cool, tight-knit network from what I'm told. And uh, again, really catering to providing an amazing snowmobiling experience up here. And we're going to uh, be touring around a lot of the outfitters. We're going to be hitting a lot of the, the different sites. And the first stop today is going to be making our way uh, up to Devil's Mountain. Just to uh, check it out. I've heard a lot about it. I've seen pictures. And there's a whole set of uh, kind of feeder trails that run through there as well. And we're going to make our way uh, up to Font Brun. Pouvoirie de Font Brun, I think is what it's called. So to all our Quebec friends out here watching the channel, you're going to have to excuse my French. I'll try my best as I always do when I'm in Quebec riding, but uh, man, you guys have such a wicked trail network. It's beautiful here. All right, we're just uh, at the 63 and 225. Basically out of Mont Laurier now and back uh, We're making our way down the 63 trail, which is in really good shape and it opened up a little bit wider It's a little bit tighter and twistier back towards uh, Mont Laurier And uh, now it's looking like we're getting also into some of the elevation too, which is sweet. So this is obviously our first time running this uh, Woodrunner trail system here and it's really cool because everything's actually within about a hundred, a hundred and so K of, uh, of Mont Laurier. So all the different places, the different outfitters that you'd want to stop and check out or sleep at or eat at, it's actually all quite contained. So for the first part of our loop, um, we're going to be kind of exploring everything up towards, uh, Rabaska. And it was only about 59k actually from uh, Mont Laurier, so it's kind of nice. So you're you're not really like for for this first day, we're not putting on huge kilometers. I think we're doing about 250 kilometers for today. All right, so we're just a uh, quick pit stop here, getting familiar with the area now, and it's still early, so we got a, a good start this morning. So uh, boys are hungry. We're gonna get some breakfast over at uh, Devil's Mountain. It's about nine kilometers actually this way. So we're gonna go grab some uh, coffee and some food and then we're gonna actually come back. We're gonna go check out the Chute de Windigo. Uh, that was one of the uh, one of the places we wanted to, uh, to check out on this ride. And then we're gonna make our way basically up to Rabaska Lodge and Fontbrun, which is about a 30, 30 35 kilometer uh, ride up that way. And that's gonna be kind of like our Next uh, major spot to stop for uh, for this morning. Now we're definitely into uh, into these uh, nice mountains, and it's beautiful riding through here. We have a gorgeous bluebird day today. Super cold this morning, about minus 22 uh, when we were leaving Mont Laurier. So it's pretty cool, like lots of amenities in the area. I think what's amazing too here is 
you're really out in the middle of you know in the middle of the Laurentians here and so there's no road access really where we are right now this is all done by sled a lot of the trails obviously are like what you see here where you're just sort of climbing and climbing you can just see that basically we're up pretty high because all the trees are basically crystallized up here it's just gorgeous hopefully the camera will uh, will do it justice wow gorgeous lots more snow as soon as we got up here too you can see the trees are just caked with it <laughs> there you go. Did you get booted? Huh? Did you get booted? Yeah. <laughs> Just a wicked view from up here. Gorgeous. Bunch of sleds here now. A little bit milder at two, which is nice. There's the view from Devil's Mountain. Just had a quick uh, French onion soup at the Roulet. Everybody good? Awesome. All right, so we just finished up a quick pit stop here at Devil's Mountain. Absolutely gorgeous up here. I've never in my life have I snowmobiled in a nicer area. And we are going to be making our way uh, to Fontbrun and Rabaska now. But man, this, I mean, this is what I was hoping for and I got it. The guys are all saying like, we've never seen anything like this. And uh, it's certainly one of the most beautiful places to come to for snowmobiling. Had a great French onion soup in there couple cups of coffee and that was our brunch and we're coming down Devil's Mountain oh my god like look at this crazy just crazy like I'm honestly speechless so it's hard to uh, <laughs> you know continue vlogging away here when you're looking at this but it, it's it's really beautiful So I think one of the other spots we're going to be checking out along this uh, tour is the Chutes to Windigo. I think that's going to be the next spot on the tour. I think it's about 30 clicks from here from what I remember. And what's cool here too in Quebec is you can see on some of these other areas where they've got like an offshoot of uh, the ATV trails are actually running right next to us. So like the ATVs and the side-by-sides. I always thought that was pretty neat. They basically follow the same path as the sled trails, but uh, they've got their own system, which is uh, which is pretty neat. Right there, it joins up, and again, it splits off here. Snowmobiles to the left, and ATVs and side by sides to the right. So that's pretty amazing in terms of their infrastructure and how they set up. Uh, the trail system here in Quebec. So we are uh, just coming into the Chutes de Windigo. So nice little area here. Again, everything's uh, signed really well. So let's take a quick look here. So Mont Laurier back this way. So that's going to go back to where we were and we're going to go straight here. And I'll tell you the uh, GPS has definitely helped quite a bit just to make sure that we're uh, make sure that we're on the right path here. What's going on here? Is this it? 
How's it going? <laughs> just cherry. Just cherry. Just, just cherry. Oh. So, this oh. is where we're going. Shoots to Windigo. We're just going to go check it out. I don't know what these guys are doing. Come on, boys. I'm taking you guys on a tour. Hey, that shoots to Windigo right here. It's right here. Come here. I know, it's right here. We're gonna walk. It's 200 meters. All right, we're just gonna go explore and check out the shoots to Windigo. You can see it, it's actually right up there, which is pretty cool. Come on, fellas, get some exercise. Just beautiful. That's it, boys. A little bit of exercise. Walk off that uh, French onion soup. <laughs> there we go. And they got these cool little platforms where you can basically check out the shoots. <laughs> Amazing, eh? Beautiful. All right, so we just made it to the shoots to Windigo. It just doesn't get it. It just keeps getting better and better. <laughs> and we're just getting started. Hello. Yeah, it's nice. Go down there. Yeah. It's very nice. Thank you. Yeah, you too. So we're about 11 clicks to uh, Rabaska. Just uh, again running all these uh, wood runners trails that are pretty amazing. This is uh, kind of the 322 and then we're just taking this 236 into uh, Rabaska. Okay, here we go. Wow, beautiful lake. spot pretty sweet spot eh nice fire going on outside whoo a little bit of smoke there how we doing boys that was a good lunch man good lunch awesome great place I got more technology than Best Buy <laughs> that concludes our lunch stop just uh leaving beautiful rabaska lodge gotta say this place is amazing we uh talked to the folks that work there and definitely a, a wicked spot great food beautiful lodging for sure definitely put it on your uh tour plan if you're coming up this way Again, it kind of depends like how much time you have to sort of do the the touring up here you can plan two days three days probably four days and uh you know pick a couple of the different outfitters to stay at well i finished a delicious burger some of the boys had burgers and poutine which was a little extensive i think but uh Rabaska is a wicked spot for sure we're going to make our way down uh, just over to Fontbrun now and we're going to go check that place out as well. We're going to go back across this uh, really cool narrow bridge crossing which you got to stop at and it looks clear. I got the crew all behind me so we're good. One of the things we were uh, kind of talking about at lunch was just the the hospitality up here and just the the I think it's just the Quebec culture just 
their nature such good natured people they really do focus on making sure everybody has a good experience i mean these places are really they're all sledders that are coming up now i'm sure they cater to hunters and probably also cater to you know fishermen and boating in the in the summertime and they just do such a great job of making you feel at home and taking care of you it's it's uh it's pretty amazing just very welcoming very hospitable And that's one of the things I absolutely love about riding Quebec that, you know, certainly I think is different than Ontario in some, in some uh, capacities, right? Is you've got these places that truly are really dedicated to a top-notch, you know, five-star type experience, right? Which, um, which is great because these are kind of mini vacations for us, right? We're taking time off work and we're away for a couple of days at a time. So some people want kind of that higher touch experience. I certainly do. And just see the uh, lake out in front of the trees there and behind or in behind the trees there. And just making our way down into Pouvoiré Club Font Brune. And here we are. Just a, another beautiful outfitter and, and spot to, uh, to stay. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good, self. Where are you guys from? Uh, you know where Ottawa is? Yeah. So we're like uh, an hour south of Ottawa. Oh, nice. So you're lucky because you're closer. <laughs> where are you guys from? <laughs> we're from, well, we're kind of all over. Most of us from the GTA. Oh, okay. I'm from uh, Kitchener, Bowmanville, Whitby. Wow. Yeah. You guys did have a Kitchener. hike. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Four hours for us. Yeah. Have you been out riding this way before? We were just here last weekend. Actually, oh, yeah. we stayed here last weekend, and we're just up the road this weekend. Nice. Yeah. Pretty awesome spot. We just came up from, or came down from uh, Rabaska. Went That's there for lunch. There. Oh, you're staying. staying this weekend. Oh, it's yeah. beautiful there. Yeah. Cool. And they have gas too. What's that? The food is very, very good over there. It's yeah, food's good. Yeah. Here was you liked it here last. Week. I like the food there. Yeah. And they have gas too on site. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Nice. Well, maybe we'll go in and take a little tour and then we'll uh, continue on our way. We're going to uh, Mikos tonight. Oh, nice. So we're going to head over there. That's what, another 80 kilometers from here? Uh, yeah, about, yeah, about 70 clicks. This should be good. It's a nice we are not going anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? I'm going back to the Ready for a drink? <laughs> yeah, in a hot tub. Right. <laughs> First time bringing the women, so. <laughs> Nice. It's really rough over there. Well, my wife doesn't ride. Oh my well, God. I don't think she's going to have to this weekend. Back? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh, wow. This looks like a nice place. Yeah. Whew. Beauty. Hello. Wow. Hello. How are you? We are... Just coming to say hello because I heard a lot about this place and wanted to check it out. Oh, yeah, for sure. We're kind of uh, doing a doing a tour, so. Can I do your visit? No it's okay. Yeah, no problem. Go for it. Awesome. If you have any questions, just send me the Yeah, nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Very, very nice. Holy cow. Nice little seating and bar area. Yeah. Oh, this, is, this, is this is unreal. Oh, hey, look at this. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nice. Yeah. Got, oh, got, got some uh, XPS uh, two stroke oil. B drive cords, heated cords. Wow. Hot shots. Amazing. Wow. Beautiful spot, boys. Beautiful spot. Oh, look at it. Hey, Mike. They didn't even give you free chips. <laughs> right on, sitting around the bar. Holy cow, these places are amazing. This is... Like, uh, I've got a whole bunch of things running in my head. Like, why doesn't Ontario do this? Yeah. You know? Yeah. 
beautiful place. Thank you. You have questions or anything? Not really, no, but uh, we're definitely going to come back and stay at some point. Yeah. Perfect. You need to reserve because like weekdays, it's less, it's still busy, but okay. we have more chance, but uh, we can like Saturday, it's sold out probably. It's not sold out. Well, it might be, but sometimes we have cancellations. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the price for uh, we for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, mm -hmm. or it can be on weekdays as well. So it's uh, one seventy nine, one seventy nine yeah. per night per person. That include the cabins, uh, four dinner courses, and the breakfast. Wow. wow. Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah, <laughs> not bad, right? Food delicious. Yeah. We have like a super good chef here, so it's like awesome food. Wow. wow. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. And like on weekdays, we can only rent the cabin if you want. Right. But we can. We only do the package with the food. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. That's great. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay. Bye. Take care. Amazing. It is. Right. So we are just hooking back up with the 322 here. A little rough in that section there that takes you into uh, the lodges. And we're going to make our way over to Mikos now via 322. So hopefully uh, this trail's in good shape. All these places generally have a snowmobiler package that will give you lodging so you'll get you know overnight stay in a cabin or something like that and you'll get meals included as well which just makes it really easy for you uh, as a sledder it's a great way to go we love Quebec <laughs> such good riding here the birth of the skidoo I'd love to get to BRP headquarters someday. That would be cool. Over in uh, Valcor. You can see uh, beautiful views of the mountains here and the Laurentians. Wow, that is just gorgeous. You know what's amazing too about Quebec? There are so many women that snowmobile out here. I know, I know. Like, oh, do you see them all at, at lunch yeah. there? Like, yeah. it's, it's very different, eh? Yeah. Yep. It's a, it's the best. Look at them all. Yeah. Real. Yeah. Yeah. All on new iron and everything. Man. Oh yeah. Yep. Newfoundland's the same way. Everybody rides. Yeah. All right. So we're just coming into Lac de Saint Anne. Cool little bridge crossing here. Super nice. And then we're uh, hitting the 319 trail right now okay so we are about 10 clicks outside of Mikos now sun's coming down one of my favorite times to ride trails been groomed in this area which is great really nice through the trees here Be some really beautiful sections of trail we're about yeah we're about 9.9 .9 clicks outside of Mikos and that's where we're going to be uh lodging for tonight seriously looking forward to checking this place out i've seen so many pictures online and you know some some great recommendations uh from our buddy neil owen and uh everybody raves about this place so we've got our own cabin for the four of us we've got basically like a 12 person cabin which uh, is pretty sweet and i'm looking forward to uh seeing what um what Nikos has to offer. It's, I know it's going to be awesome. I'm going to do another plug for the Bite Harder lights. The guys have been saying basically the entire trip how amazing they are. Glenn, Len, we can't thank you guys enough. I mean, they make such a huge difference riding. They're so super bright. And the guys are, uh, are absolutely loving them. Our whole crew has them. All right, for all you guys out there again with uh, GPS, on the mind, running this new Garmin Zumo 590, and uh, Jesse really spent a lot of time with me to help me get it all set up so that it was uh, preloaded for this trip. And I gotta say, having your trips preloaded on the Garmin 
is hands down the way to do it. it takes a little bit of work to uh, get it all done in base camp but one man once you've got it loaded it's incredible makes it super easy just to follow where you're going to get to your next uh, waypoints and your next destinations all right we should just be coming into Mikos any minute now we're probably about 400 meters out it looks like it's uh, right on this lake up here and I am excited I'm tired oh wow yes beautiful holy cow this is amazing all right ladies and gentlemen welcome to Mikos all right that's the tour for today we made it That's right. That's right. All right, let me get you guys all settled in here and then we can get our stuff out. Jeez. Crazy, man. Look at this. Oh my God, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's how we do it. video be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the sled addicts youtube channel where we release content on everything snowmobiling also hit that bell icon so you can be updated every time we release new videos